All right, so a few months ago, I built this really cool grid scroll rotation kind of video thing going on here. But you know, if I come out of preview mode and inspect these elements, we see that I got them placed by creating a width that's greater than 100% and the height. And to get these things to really look good, I had to make some plays and zoom in. But now I've got their box kind of getting outside of their container, especially as I start scrolling. So we can see that as I'm scrolling here, and now when I'm down here, I'm introducing some horizontal scroll, which is very unnecessary and unwanted. Hey there, web bay. Now, the normal way to fix this would be to grab a parent thing like the page wrap here and apply overflow hidden. But as you've probably learned at some point in the past and been frustrated by, if you have a div like a scroll div with position sticky on it, anytime we use overflow hidden, that breaks our position sticky. So I'm scrolling and the rotation is happening, but it's not following us. So what's a way that we can fix it? Well, there's an unsung hero of CSS that doesn't get talked about, maybe because it's not in Webflow Designer, but I see it in the normal dev community spaces too. If I come to my embed and open up the settings here, we'll open the code editor and we see that on PageRap, I can apply overflow with a value of clip here. So let's go ahead and save and close. And if I come back to PageRap on this style, I will go ahead and get rid of this overflow. And now when I preview, everything is working and I'm not getting any of that horizontal scroll that we had before just by using clip instead of hidden. So what's going on here? I had heard about this before, but I saw Brahma's tweet about it recently. He says overflow clip doesn't differ that much from overflow hidden, except for that the fact that overflow clip does not create a scroll container. So he's got two little examples here and he says, hey, you can do programmatic scroll with overflow hidden, but you cannot with overflow clip. What does this actually mean? If we come to the MDN web docs for overflow, we can see that they've got hidden and clip here, but their example doesn't even show us what that programmatic scroll container means or not. And if we scroll down, we see, okay, hidden, it's gonna say overflow content is clipped at the elements padding box, blah, blah, blah. There are no scroll bars, clip content not visible, but the content still exists. Okay, so this is starting to get at what we wanna learn about. The content can be scrolled programmatically, for example, by setting the value of the scroll left property or using the scroll to method in which case the element box is a scroll container. And with clip, we see that overflow content outside of the clip region is not visible. User agents do not add a scroll bar and programmatic scrolling is also not supported. So let's start exploring this in Webflow just a little bit. The question I wanna answer is, can we use overflow clip instead of overflow hidden without really worrying about it? So here in Webflow, I've got some paragraphs with a class name of content that overflows. They've got a min width of 40 rem, and then I've placed two of them inside this div here called overflow hidden that has a max height of seven rem, and then padding section large. This is like a stupid example, but hopefully it gets the point across. And we can see I'm using overflow hidden here. And then I have another one below with overflow clip. And this one is using overflow clip as its property there. So we can see the class of overflow clip just defines the CSS property overflow to be a value of clip. So that's our first example up here. We just have paragraphs that are overflowing both to the right and below of both of their containers, overflow hidden and overflow clip. And then if we come down here, we can see we have a flex box inside of overflow hidden and a flex box inside of overflow clip. Now these flexes are set to be horizontal, I believe. Yes, we see we have horizontal and then we've got overflowing to the right and below. And then also there's a button all the way over to the right that we can't see. And in this one, we have that button as well. It's over here, but of course we don't see it. Now let's go ahead and check out the publish page and see what we can do with this. So let's pull up inspector. And the first thing we can see, I'm gonna scroll in all of these, we can see there's really no scrolling allowed. I'm trying to scroll in every direction and nothing is happening. And if I hit tab, okay, I get a button over here. This is reminder is the overflow hidden box. And if I click tab again, we're not able to access that button that was over here in the overflow clip. So we're starting to see that, you know, if you expect somehow in your accessibility, something, some sort of interactive component that's in the hidden area to be accessible, then you need to use overflow hidden. I don't know when you would ever use this, but I was able to find this example to kind of illustrate what it means by a scroll container with programmatic scroll. Now, the other way to explore this is let's go ahead and use our selector. Uh, I'm gonna grab content that overflows here and let me zoom in one and we'll grab that overflow hidden container and I'm going to right click it and we'll store it as a global variable. So we see it's stored as temp one that we can now access in our console. If I say temp one dot scroll by, and then we'll scroll zero in the X direction and 20 in the Y direction, we can see that our box actually scrolls here. Now let's see what happens when we do that to overflow clip. So let's right click overflow clip, store as global variable and say temp two dot scroll by, uh, let's see, scroll by and zero and 20. And so we're watching this box right over here and I'll click enter and nothing happens because we cannot programmatically scroll overflow clip. Now, if I knew that I wanted to hide content within a div and that I wanted it to be scrollable, I would not use overflow hidden. I would set overflow to auto 
And that of course is going to generate some scroll bars, which we could style ourselves. But now I could expect my user to scroll over to something. This is common in using like a tabs layout on mobile or something like that. So again, we're not using overflow hidden here. However, I see a common complaint of people using overflow hidden and wondering why their sticky containers are not working anymore. So if that's happening to you, definitely recommend looking at overflow clip and this is my official petition to make it available in Webflow. Or, you know, they're coming out with custom CSS properties pretty soon, fingers crossed. So we'll just wait for it to come there. Anyways, hope you learned something from this and got some help with your overflow issues. If you're curious about browser support, here you can see the overflow clip is supported by all modern browsers with the exception of Internet Explorer, which is not a modern browser, and Opera Mobile, which I also don't consider to be a modern browser. Anyways, as you can see here, it's been supported for quite a long time in Opera, Firefox, Safari, Edge, and Chrome. So this is probably safe to be using unless you're something like the Department of Defense or the IRS, in which case you're probably not having animations and sticky containers that scroll out of you anyways. Caution, failing to hit that subscribe button may result in severe low code and no code FOMO. You'll be stuck in the stone age of web development, unaware of the latest tricks, trends, and tools. Friends and colleagues might start giving you those sympathetic, you're still using that? Looks. But that's not all. You might find yourself lost in a maze of inefficient code, desperately trying to animate elements with outdated techniques. It's a dark road, my friends, and we don't want you stuck in the web development wilderness. Non-subscribers might experience sudden bouts of 404 creativity not found, causing your projects to look as exciting as a blank HTML page from the 90s. And trust me, the 90s called, they want their web design back. And a bunch of other unsavory trends as well. Yikes. Here's the antidote. Hit that subscribe button right now. Join the Bay Battalion and unlock the full potential of Webflow with code. This may result in the admiration of fellow developers and designers and a boost in your own confidence and income.